Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be going over retail sentiment, uh, how I use it, why is it important, and how to use it uh, to your advantage when entering trades, specifically for US 30. So retail sentiment basically identifies where everybody's trading, who are retail traders. Um, this data that I use here, I'm going to post this link in the video. This data here is going to show where all the traders who use IG, which is one of the bigger brokers that's used worldwide, um, where everybody's trading. So as you can see over here, it shows that it's 74% short. This indicates that 74% of retail traders are currently selling, and it's 26% long here, indicating that 26% of retail traders are currently buying. Uh, the way that I use this is when I see a large amount of people trading in one direction, typically over 60%, I usually want to do the opposite of what everybody else is doing. Uh, if you guys have done enough research into like the profitability of most traders, majority of traders don't do well, right? So you typically don't want to do, do what everybody else is doing. So if everyone here is selling, I typically want to buy. And then if everybody here is buying, I typically want to sell. Um, this isn't used as a standalone type of strategy. This is just used as a confluence in my perspective. Um, because, you know, obviously you'll have short-term direction where price will be going one direction and it's not going to line up with the sentiment. So I just use this as a confluence and confirmation to improve the possibility of my trade winning, right? And to give me that confidence when I'm taking a sell or when I'm taking a buy. So this isn't an end-all be-all, but this will help you. So for example, if you're looking for a buy here and, um, it's 74% short. I'm going to feel a lot better taking a buy here because if everyone's selling, you know, a lot of these market makers are going to want to do the opposite and stop them out. So if I'm taking a buy here, I'm going to feel a lot better rather than taking this and then having everybody also buy, right? So that's one way to use it. And that's how I find it important. Um, however, as I mentioned, this isn't standalone. This should ju just only be used as a additional confluence on top of your strategy and on top of your full analysis of the market with regard to technicals, uh, fundamentals, and retail sentiment. So that's it for this video here. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.